Hello, Facebook friends. I thought I would shoot. I'm out in the yard today. It's, um, I don't know, it's probably noon, judging from the sun, that um, I'm in my backyard. I need to mow the lawn and do some work in the front yard. But So I was outside watering, believe it or not, and I thought I'd shoot some flowers, pictures, because, oh my gosh, my first um, poppy has come up, the first... Um, California poppy that are just wild in my backyard and my backyard will eventually be completely full of California poppies So this is the first one that's coming up. I can see I have a lot. That's all these are here California poppies a couple weeks ago I had to come out and pull a whole bunch that were starting so that I would be able to walk through have a path in the backyard These are freesias that will be coming up. They smell amazing. The They're yellow over here Mark decided he was gonna plant some corn and sunflowers and he decided to plant those a while back and you know nothing much happened and now look at them there we're going to have sunflowers here pretty soon i should admit say this is february 21st salinas california blackberries are still coming in you can see that they're going good we have some strawberries Got strawberries growing and I never can grow enough for me to eat because I sure eat a lot. I'd love to, I keep thinking I'm gonna come up with some kind of way of making a giant strawberry place. Haven't done it yet. Some stalks, um, orange tree, oranges still coming through. Um, my star pink jasmine is about ready to bloom. I planted these the other day out of my office window and put a bird feeder and its birds are hilarious. So you can see my pink jasmine starting. It's going to bloom and it is going to smell so amazing. I've cut this back so many times and it keeps growing back. And I, I don't really know what to do with it. I want to contain it somewhat because it gets to be really unruly at times. What else we got? Um, the uh, hens and chicks are getting ready to, to bloom. So you can see. Hi, hydrangeas. Lots of uh, succulents growing really pretty. They're starting to bloom as well. These are, I can't think what they're called, but I bought them at CVS. They run sell for like $2, so I bought a bunch for color. My jade has been going crazy for, for months. I've got a bird feeder over there. And the birds keep emptying the bird feeder. <laughs> trash cans really exciting here's another succulent and in here we bought some geraniums gosh when did we get these like six months ago or something and here they're starting to come in oh you can see way in the corner there the purple do you see the purple that is a hyacinth and it will grow so pretty i should have planted it in a pot so that i can move it to where you can see it because what happens is these these plants get big and they they cover up the hyacinth, so I'll have to try to keep these trimmed back so I can see that. Oh, and here is my plum tree starting to get its little um, greenery on it. Lots of little greenery going in there. Can't remember what these are called either, but they're they're coming in. I don't think they actually really left. Let's see what the apricot tree is doing. Yeah, I guess if you look at it. There's some buds coming through, slowly but surely. So we should have apricots if we keep it all wet and, and everything back here. This is my peach tree. I had peaches for the very first time, even though this is about six years. This is a mass of jasmine. I've cut it way back. This is <laughs> what's left of a tomato. Can you believe it's still here? And what I made a mistake is when we put this in in 2002, the bed, I put potatoes in, in it thinking, I don't know what I was thinking, but potatoes are everywhere. So what I'm going to do is before I plant the season in it is I'm going to take all the dirt out and get rid of it because I can't keep these potatoes out of here. You just can't, you can't pull them out. So before I plant anything else in here, I'm going to, I'm going to pull everything out and put new fresh soil in here. I've been composting and uh, put that in there. But look, your tomato still still plant going. You can see here, there's a little 
tomato there. I, here's here's a green one right here. You see that? So I still have some potatoes. I mean tomatoes. Oh, what's this? There's something that's been pulled out. Chard or something. And I think Mark was pulling something out and probably forgot that he pulled it out. I have learned, because I have cats, yeah, to use things, objects in the dirt to keep the cats from using them. This is a letter, litter box. And also these plastic forks that you get from places are pretty good about, um, you put them in the soil to keep animals out. Kind of work so far. What else? Anything else exciting out here? I'm trying to see. Just wanted to sh take a quick video and show you that things are starting to come back. Just like with the excitement of the world starting to get, we're starting to open up a little bit. I see a light at the end of the tunnel here. We're starting to get vaccines some more in our area. There's some. And just pretty flowers coming through. Here's columbine. Get over to it. That's a columbine right there. And next to it is something orange. I can't remember what it's called. Here's some more columbine. Um, I had to come out here a lot this, this winter. I know you guys won't call it a winter, a lot of you. And weed, because I didn't want to have it to become a problem where, um, you know, I come out in the spring and, and then you're just trying to weed and you're, you're having nothing but spending all your time doing that. So I'm finding I'm having to water. Last week or so, we're having water to water everything seems strange but this has been almost a year in lockdown and I've been able to spend a little time out here believe it or not and hopefully we'll have a nice harvest anyway I just want to chronicle what February looks like 2021 in Salinas California at just about noon and spring is on its way hope you guys all get a chance to get out and exercise and do some something out in the yard hopefully soon if even it's shoveling snow in some cases i feel sorry but sorry anyway take care